Yeah, coming to drop in my car. But the title of this video, you guys probably know what's going on. And it's finally that day. I've been shopping around quite a lot and a lot of you guys know that it's been a long journey trying to find the perfect right car to replace the RS3 because the RS3, there's nothing like the RS3. And the RS6 is like an R RS3 on, on steroids. <laughs> Today is the day guys. I'm very excited because I thought this was not gonna happen because I was planning on keeping the R6, sorry, the RS3 for the winter and now, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I even got winter tires, so yeah. Oh. Are you a camera guy or? <laughs> How are you bro? How's everything? Amazing. Yes. Excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. We we'll have to film it and stuff. Look at that, M3CS. That is absolutely beautiful. It looks so good. Test drove this car, unbelievable. Like honestly, unbelievable. Absolutely love it. But doesn't drive through the winter. How are you, man? How about yourself? Oh, look at that. I love the fact that it's not, there's no red stitching. I like the silver. Yeah. It's like very minimal, very nice. It's subtle. And the fact that the well, ceramic bricks look silver, yeah. it blends everything in. It's super nice. Absolutely crazy. Beautiful car. There she goes. My 2020 RS3. Absolutely love this car for the few months we had it. Amazing car, honestly. And the fact that it has the mid pipes is just even better. But this is really the dream daily, honestly. Now we won't have this issue, John, of bringing your car. Break that out. If you guys are looking for a car, Tim, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Location Paramount, check it out. Absolutely golden. Oh my God, it sounds unbelievable. I do hate the fact that valves close right away, like after two seconds, but we're gonna change that. Crazy. It's actually Crazy. so nuts, man. So, bro, wow, <laughs> what a car, man. Yeah, it's it actually nuts, mine, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Yo, it looks great, bro. Like, how can you want any other car than this? Oh, this is my. like perfection of things. This here is my 2023 RS6 Avant in Sebring Black. It's very much like a purplish dark blue and I think the color is what gives the icing on the cake for this vehicle. Before the RS3, this was the car I very much wanted to get. It's a car with lots of cargo space, lots of power, room, incredible aesthetics. In fact, I would argue that aside from most supercars, this is the best looking daily drive you can get. It has a slight upper hand compared to the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio GTA. I wanted something simple with a scar and that's what I got. 
My spec is an all leather interior trim with silver stitching to match those ceramic bricks. I got the black optics and not by choice. It would have been nice to have the perfect spec with the carbon exterior but I couldn't pass on this offer especially when it's brand new. This beast has incredible rims, 22 inches to be exact very much complements the what hips this car has and those tiny little details like the vent piece gap that adds to the meanness of this car. I will say my love for this car is definitely in the rear with those massive exhaust tips, the beautiful diffuser that extends the whole body and to top it all off their signature LED lights with sequential pattern. This just speaks to you but why the R6? Well, not only it's a twin turbo V8 tamed from the Urus, but it's a mini SUV that behaves a bit like the RS3 in its driving characteristics. It also has incredible tech. I can open the trunk with the key fob, which delivers enough room for us to put all of our gear. It has an amazing interior, incredible seats, sun shades if you need, a Halcantara on the doors, enough carbon fiber where you need it. Even this beautiful flat steering wheel that I'm so happy it's in leather unlike my GT4 and it's paired with metal paddle shifters. It's a dream to be in the driving seat of this car because that dash looks incredible. As much as I love the needles my Porsche has, Audi, I think I can get accustomed to this beauty. I also enjoy the wireless car Apple Play and just all the tech like the backup camera. It's a car that as long and wide as it is, it's easy to park because of its bird's eye view, 360 view, it even lets you pull these tabs and check out other camera angles. I find it unbelievable how nice the haptic feedback is on the screen. All around is such a beauty of a car and it could go on forever. As insane as this car is, well, first of all, I, I can't push it that much. And as almost perfect as it is, there are a few things I wanna do to it. For starters, I do want to tint the windows because everyone can look at you in this car and I really don't like that. What did uh, we say about the tint? I think we did, we were going with 35%. 35%. All around? Yeah, I think we were going with 35%. Around. He's the one that knows. <laughs> <laughs> The second thing is blacking out the emblems. I don't know why the optics blacks package doesn't come with the blacked out emblems, which I find super odd. The black emblem, do you know if it's black or satin? Uh, what satin is like? Um, like uh, the Jeep, uh, the Jeep. Sorry, like the, the G wagon. wagon? <laughs> yeah, the G wagon. What looks better? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, does that look better to you? Can I see your car first? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Come. I think gloss is better, but okay. I can also just do a little uh, like, show like showcase type of stuff yeah. okay <laughs> with my, with my co-worker I'm gonna okay them and... yeah if you guys can do that it would be good if you yeah. can't then we'll go with gloss okay perfect. all right is there any scratch or dent I should know no about? I literally just got the <laughs> car <laughs> yeah okay. I just hope like the rocks didn't chip anything oh my god this is so crazy I really can't push this too much it sounds insane and the other thing talking about sound is that as cool as it sounds inside it definitely needs a bit more punch which is why I'm going to be installing some mid pipes from CTS turbo and the other product I'm getting from them is uh, the lowering stance or springs which are like these little adapters that are going to be super useful because I'm going to be lowering the car on the front about 70 millimeters and in the back 128 millimeters and it's gonna look like super freaking sick you know because this car mostly the back looks absolutely stunning it's unbelievable and the way this drives oh my god my stomach right there <laughs> i felt it <laughs> is insane the turns it takes oh my god absolutely crazy it can be going too fast right here it is such a nice experience. It's definitely different from my RS3. The RS3 lacked in throttle. You know, it will always take a, a bit more time for the car to respond, which I did not like. We go over this bump right here. Thank you, ma'am. But this, when you put it down, it just goes. And I can't push it that much. I can't pass the 4,000 RPM because the car is brand new. I need to wait till a thousand thousand five hundred kilometers so i can keep 
pushing this car and the brakes too because they're ceramic brakes i can't push it too too much i can't brake like hard but they feel unbelievable and they feel very close to the gt4 which i completely love oh my god it's such a nice experience too many bumps it's because the road right here is nice oh my god I absolutely love this car. I think it was the perfect car for my needs, especially since I wanted the power. I wanted something that resembled the RS3, and this is it. And on top of that, obviously, we have the cargo space, which is massive. It's enough room for me to put all the camera gear I need and everything else for the YouTube channel. And I don't have to be borrowing my parents' car or ask Jan to take a Subaru or rent U-Haul trucks, which is perfect because the cargo is just massive. Now, this isn't a review, of course. I can't make a review because I can't even push this car that much. These are genuinely like my first take, like first impressions of this car while I'm driving it. Absolutely insane. Well, it's been two weeks I've owned this. It has 1,200 kilometers around. And look at it, absolutely beautiful. Black optics package should have come like this. The emblems are blacked out. Let me show you the front. Look at that. It looks so much better. Now, the links are still not here. Definitely needs the links to lower it just a bit more. Spacers are still not here. And my Red Star mid pipes, they're not here yet, which I'm pretty bummed out about. They're being held at customs. So the car still sounds a bit of a, like a vacuum, which I'm not a fan of. But look, it drives insanely well. I also tinted the windows as you guys can see it's not too dark it's like subtle enough to like have a bit of privacy i really really like it look at this such a beautiful car feels incredible to drive i am so happy with the purchase i also feel like i'm a bit crazy for running oem rims during the winter but i am super careful with these it looks so good i am thinking that maybe a rack would look even better but ah. Who knows? Would a six month long term review interest you guys? Let me know. I will make sure to make that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make. Yeah, it needs an exhaust. <laughs>